Today in the Fresh Brew Run Club, I'm giving my first run reactions to the Nike ZoomX Invincible 3, which is apparently a controversial shoe. Welcome back to the Fresh Brew Run Club. So today's video, I have finally acquired a brand new pair of the Nike Zoom X Invincible 3. Now, the Nike Zoom X Invincible and the Invincible 2 are two of my favorite running shoes of all time. To me, they're basically the same shoe. I have made many, many, many videos about those shoes, so subscribe and check those out. This is the third edition of Nike's Invincible line, which is an ultra cushion shoe that is designed more for slower runs, for easier runs, for day-to-day -day training, not racing. So I'm excited to see what Nike did with the third version of the Invincibles. Now, a couple things to get out of the way. If you're new to my channel, I look at running shoes from the perspective of an average runner, someone who likes running, who goes out there, who takes it seriously, but you know, I'm not competing to, to qualify for the Olympics here. The second thing, I am not being paid to promote the shoe. I wasn't given this shoe. I bought this shoe with my own money, so I don't really have any incentive to speak highly of it or to trash it. I'm just gonna give you my honest review. And the third thing is, this is just my first run review. I will make more videos, and I think that's really important. Subscribe so you don't miss those, but I'll make a video after maybe 50 miles or 100 miles and really tell you how it feels. But I do want to get out there and just kind of see how is this different versus the initial versions of the Invincibles. But before I go on a run, I want to do a quick breakdown. So the biggest thing off the bat with this shoe is the amount of Zoom X midsole foam that it has. It's an ultra cushioned shoe. The initial versions, this is the Invincible 2, kind of propel you forward. It doesn't have a carbon fiber plate inside of it, but just the way that it's built, it almost like it's like you're kind of running downhill. A couple things off the bat outside of the midsole foam. This time around, the outsole is two pieces. There's the heel piece, and then there's the, the, the four foot piece here. The previous version is just one solid piece, and then the upper is completely redesigned. It looks like it's a thinner fly knit material, which is good. There's not as much padding on the inside, which is one of the things I'm really gonna pay attention to. A lot of the initial reviews I've seen talk about heel slippage, which basically when your foot is in the shoe, your heel kind of slips out of it because it doesn't lock around your ankle. So I will definitely be paying attention to that. The laces are a little bit different. Nike chose to bring back the sort of stretchier laces. It also has a heel tab, which is one of my favorite underrated running shoe features. Just helps to pull that shoe right on. And then lastly, uh, aesthetically, it's just a little bit different. You know, there's some design on the midsole. Uh, there's a big like Nike swoosh here. There's a swoosh on the toe, which I think is kind of cool. Reminds me of the Nike Prestos. And there's a couple different colorways that came out. I got the maternity ward blanket colorway. So excited to see how these go. So I'm going to take these out for a spin. I'm going to go about six miles at around like nine minute easy pace, which I think is what these shoes are designed for. So with that being said, let's go for a normal everyday run. All right, I'm about a mile in. So I was gonna start off talking about the cushioning, the stability, kind of the basic features of what an Invincible does. But instead, I'm gonna jump right to the big question, and that's the heel slippage. I'm gonna be honest, the shoe does slip a little bit. It's definitely noticeable. I think with the original Invincibles, you put that on, it's snug around your ankle, snug around your heel, no problem. This, kind of fighting it a little bit. Now, it's not horrible, but I would say it's noticeable. I had the Infinity Reacts, the original version. That was the worst shoe I've ever run in. Could barely stay on my foot. It was like I was running in sand. It's not that extreme with the Invincible Threes, but it's not great. So I actually stopped and retied my shoes. I went one more like shoelace eyelet, one more up. It's definitely better. I'm a little concerned that the shoelaces are now a little too tight on my ankle. My foot could fall asleep, so we'll see how it goes over the next few miles, but it's a little bit better. But I don't like tightening my laces that much just so my heel doesn't slip around. Now let's talk cushioning. If you're unfamiliar with the Invincibles, uh, when you put this on, you're gonna be like, wow, that's a lot of cushioning. Same thing is true for the Invincible 3. Tons of Zoom X foam. It's like kind of running on a cloud. Now I do think that these are a little firmer than the Invincible 1 and 2s. These feel slightly more dense and maybe you need to break them in a little bit. Now, as far as stability goes, it's interesting. The midsole is just foam, so you might think it's kind of unstable, but the width of this shoe more than makes up for it. It is such a wide shoe that the surface area where your foot strikes the ground, whether it's the forefoot or the heel, is gonna be huge. And I think that contributes massively to the stability. So I'm about four miles in. The extra lace eyelet trick seemed to have worked. My feet are fine. My heels are not slipping at all. So you just gotta adjust. That's, that's the main thing. So I'm gonna wrap this run up and then uh, conclude the video with some closing thoughts.
awesome. All right, so I'm back. Actually, several days have passed since I first ran in these shoes, so I've actually gotten two runs in these shoes just to get a full sense of what these are all about. So they're not a bad shoe, but I would say they're not as fun as the original ones and twos, and there's a couple reasons why. One, the heel slip issue. I would say it's kind of a minor issue, but it has forced me to tie my shoes a little bit differently. It feels a little tighter around my ankles um, as opposed to the initial Invincibles when you put those on and they fit like a, like a, like a sock. It was just awesome right out of the gate. The heel slippage isn't like a major concern, but it's definitely something that's noticeable and has forced me to kind of change how I lace my shoes, which I don't love. The second thing, the Zoom X foam, I think is a little bit more firm than the initial versions of, of the Invincible, which for some people that might be good. It probably provides a little more stability, but for me, I loved the squishiness, the buttery soft feel of those initial Invincibles when I took them out on the first run all the way, you know, 300 miles into my time running in those shoes. These are a little more firm, so I'm not sure if I'm going to have to break these in over time or this is just kind of how these shoes are. Otherwise, um, the weight is good. I like the, the upper fly net material, seems to be pretty high quality. So I will continue to run in these and make videos as time goes on. So subscribe so you don't miss those. But the question I'm trying to answer is for the next pair of shoes, what am I gonna do? Will I buy another pair of the Invincible 3s or am I gonna go back to the Invincible 2s and buy them on a discount because I really like those shoes? Right now, I'd probably lean towards the Invincible 2s. I think I like those better. Again, this isn't a bad shoe, it's just not quite as fun. So if you've run in the Invincible 3s, let me know what you think. Do you, do you kind of feel the same? I feel like I saw a lot of reviews that were overly positive or overly negative. I'm kind of in the middle. Again, it's a good shoe. If you've never run in any kind of Invincible before, I would give these a try. They're definitely going to be different than what you've run in. But if you've run in the previous Invincibles, in my opinion, I think you're going to notice it's a little bit different. And for me, not quite as good of a shoe. So I, like I said, I'm going to keep running. I'm going to keep making videos. Subscribe so you don't miss those. Let me know what you think in the comments. But that is today's video. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon. <laughs>